Hello everybody, welcome to a new tutorial. Today, today we'll try to do something a little more complex, but at the same time uh, interesting. Uh, today we'll try to make to learn something about the Windows Presentation Foundation localization of an application. That <laughs> sounds really interesting and funny, as I put it. Basically, this localization means that uh, your application can have multiple languages. The user can change its language or the application can uh, display the language according to what is set in Windows operating system regional settings. By using uh, localization, uh, you allow controls in your application to change their content. This is particularly for menus, text, labels, images. In uh, Windows Presentation Foundation, unit of localization is in the XAML file. Or another way, way said, the compiled BAML resource. This means that for every language supported by your application, you will need to have a BAML resource. Let's begin by creating a new application. We will name it localization. Okay. Come on, come on, come on. In it, we will have a stack panel. We have two buttons: a save and cancel button, and button and a tool, a text block. I'll just put the code here. It's faster this way so we have a save a cancel and the text margin button the thing the first thing we need to do is add localization support for our application for our project let me just save it oh i already have this let me just delete it Okay, I'll just save it and uh, okay, we here we have it. We just open this file, the text editor. We need to add the following line somewhere in the property group. I'll just put it here after the platform. So by this, we make our application compatible with localization. This is for English United States culture. I'll just save it. I'll go back and reload everything. We also need to set the natural resource language assembly attribute. The simplest way to do this is just open the assembly info in here and uncomment this. By doing this, we tell the serial loader how to find the correct resource DLL file for the selected culture. If it can't find it, he will use the neutral one. In this case, the English one. So now that we have support in our application, we need to tell to each control that he is able to be localized. We do this by adding an UID attribute. But this uh, means that we must modify in out XAML files or all the control that we have. And this would be a pretty awful stuff to do manually. Not for us now, but if you have a large project, this would be pain. Believe me, I tell you. Lucky us, lucky for us, Microsoft thought of this and helped us by offering the MS Build tool that comes with the Microsoft.NET framework and will do this for us. Let's just save it. Let me just debug it. We have a save, cancel, and text box. 
here okay uh, now if we go here in the debug as you can see we all have the have our localization our default one interesting huh? okay let's use that wonderful tool first we will need to change directory we just go to Windows Microsoft.net framework. Ah, sorry. Five. Okay, here, here we. Uh, what did I do wrong? And let's just run the following command. We just say uh, T update UID for our project team. Oh, I'm sorry about this. I must be blind or something. Build. Okay, I run it. Everything is successfully. Let us see what is the to our project. Open the Windows XAML file. As you can see, we have a prefix of UID for each of our controls, even for the stack panel. This was uh, very helpful for us, this tool. And now we must extract the resources that we have in our DLL file and be able to translate them in other languages and then pack them in other resources, in other BAML files, so that the application will use it. To do this, we need another tool. It's called log bamel exe you can download it from the internet this must be copied in here okay here it is and also the application exe the compiled exe file okay we have it in here so now let's open the command window again let's go to that folder it's in our bin debug us folder yes and run the following command parse uh, before I run this command, because we have changes here, we must run the application again, compile it. All right, let's go back, parse, WPF, localization, resources, LL file. The output should be Translate dot CSV. Okay, this went pretty smooth.